part of the race car involved in the accident a few minutes ago on the main straightaway. The car was virtually broken in half, or at least in two. And Larry, they call uh, football and other games the game of inches, but uh, had this car hit about two feet further back, the driver would have been in serious trouble. You really get an idea of how potentially serious that indeed was. And you know, they do have a truck tire that protects the end of the wall, Bob. I do think that it was out when the contact was made. Here again is Doug Wolfgang. Doug sees the number seven of Rick Howard out of control in front of him, but there was no place to go. I do believe the tire was in place and that Rick's car did not get a direct hit because it bounced off the tire and it could well have been the placement of that tire that saved his life. Driver Rick Howard, the car number seven. Rick is okay, no injury. The restart, we have completed two laps. We go back to the last completed lap prior to the accident. That was two laps. So we have eight more to go, and the green is out once again. The leader of this race is number 12, driven by Jerry Potter. He has led all the way into turn number three now, trailing him as they come out of turn number four in second position. Weld and Weld now moving into second position as they head down the back stretch. Well, remember, only the top four finishers get into the main event, and the pre race favorite for this heat race, Doug Wolfgang, is having a real hard time moving through slower traffic. There's Rick Weld, that yellow car, moving up on Jerry Potter. Rick, of course, the younger brother, correction, that's Jeff Swindell. Both Jeff and Rick are in yellow cars. That's Jeff Swindell, the younger brother of Sammy Swindell who uh, was the fastest qualifier here last night, now challenging for the lead. Jeff Swindell, car 1A, into turn number two, closely pursuing the number 12 of Jerry Potter, battling for the lead down the back stretch. Swindell will move to the inside now, and as he does in turns three and four, he takes over the lead. Jeff Swindell, the leader of heat number one. This is the completion of lap number six. Swindell is your leader. Doug Wolfgang has moved up to third position. Second place still belonging to Jerry Potter. Well, it took Wolfgang a while to get out of traffic, but once he got out, and Wolfgang comes very close to the honor retaining wall in turn number three, but continues to truck on. Once Wolfgang had broken from traffic, he really took off after the leader. Jeff Swindell, the leader. Now Doug Wolfgang has moved into second position. Wolfgang is second, and we have completed seven laps. As Jeff Swindell comes off of the fourth turn, this is the eighth lap completed. White flag will come out next time around. Doug Wolfgang moves into second position now, trailing Jeff Swindell. Behind Wolfgang is the number 12 of Jerry Potter. And running in fourth position is Rick Weld in car number one. Here is the white flag for Jeff Swindell. He's got one more lap to go in the first heat race of the afternoon. There will be three in all. Well, right now, Weld holds fourth position, as you mentioned, Bob. But John Stevenson, one of the, the uh, split car champions from the 1981 season, is challenging Weld right now. Meanwhile, here comes the first place. And the winner, Jeff Swindell, second position, Doug Wolfgang, third is Potter. Here is the battle for fourth position. Down the straightaway, Rick Well takes fourth. And finishing in fifth position is John Stevenson. So the four that transfer to the feature race, Jeff Swindell, Doug Wolfgang, Jerry Potter, and Rick Weld. Well, there's Rick Weld on your screen. Uh, he started that race in the middle of the pack and never really uh, was able. No, that's Jeff Swindell. Again, those two yellow number ones. That is the winner of heat race number one. The only difference is a very, very small A that you can see to the right of the number, and it's very difficult to see, Larry. Jeff Swindell, whom we saw on ESPN, win a USAC sprint car race on this track without wings a couple months ago. Very important to finish in fourth position, and there was a good battle for it in the last lap. And uh, the contestants involved in it, Rick Weld and John Stevenson, here is their final lap. This is the race for fourth.